This is why you're still struggling to do U-turns. Most of the time when I see people trying to practice low speed maneuvers, they're simply going too slow. When you're going too slow, the bike is barely going to be leaned over. And then you're just working on balancing the bike by wiggling the handlebars and your circle. If you're trying to do circles or whatever you're trying to do is going to be nice, big, huge circles because you don't have enough speed to have enough lean angle to make tighter turns. So it's counter intuitive. You have to go a little bit faster in order to make the bike lean more in order, in order to do tighter turns. However, I don't recommend using the rear brake just yet. So unless you could do my blue belt drills in my Moto Jitsu program, don't even worry about rear brake yet. So this stuff I'm doing right now is only clutch and throttle. That's what I want you to focus on first, clutch and throttle. We'll get to the rear brake in a minute. So once you start going a little bit quicker, now you'll have a little bit more lean angle. So you won't have to worry about the handlebars too much of actually trying to turn them. Just the lean angle will do it itself. So a little bit quicker, the, t the circles may be a tad bit tighter, you know, looking where you want to go, still no rear brake. And it'll be a little bit better, and this is where a lot of people are. They're kind of in the medium phase where they're going kind of quick enough, but they still don't have a lot of lean angle, and they're still kind of, they're still working the clutch a whole lot, and still just at the beginner level of low speed potential. The next level is now you go a little bit faster, now you actually start to add a pretty good amount of lean angle. So you're still not using the rear brake right here, but just lean angle. But as you can see, the circle is getting tighter and tighter. And because I picked up the pace, now maybe going between 8 and 12 miles per hour, the bike is able to lean more. And the name of the game for low speed turning is lean angle. You have to get the bike to lean over in order to do any sharp turn, any U-turn, anything like that. So you have to get the bike to lean, requires a little bit more speed. Then once you can actually do that and you're getting pretty confident, now you could do way further lean angles. You can start to use the rear brake to get that rear end to slow down. But now you have to think about other tools. So now you have to probably raise the RPM up a little bit to always have power, slipping the clutch. And as you can see right now, I'm doing extreme counterbalancing. So I'm leaning the bike so far, if I were to keep my foot on the peg, it would be scraping on the ground, which is why I got it off the peg. My butt's to the opposite side of the bike. I pretty much want to be on top of the bike and let the bike lean underneath me, as you can see. So this is doing like a one-man band. Clutch, throttle, rear brake, steering, vision, everything all together all at once. So once you get to the point where you understand rear brake control, throttle control, slipping the clutch, you have your vision down looking where you want to go, now you can start to add a little bit more fun with the rear brake and do different things. For example, you could do a bunch of pause stops, literally just balancing at zero miles per hour. So you're kind of raising the RPM, you're slipping the clutch and a rear brake to hold the bike still. And I do it at full lock to the left because that's the way I'm most comfortable. It requires you to be immediately very still with your body, not have any abrupt movements, no shift in your weight. On the rear brake constantly, you're not going on and off the rear brake. There's just always a little bit of pressure, maybe 1%, 5%, 4%. And as you can see right here, that little movement is only the rear brake. The clutch and the throttle are actually remaining still and it's just the rear brake and balancing. And then you get to the point where you are you're, you got these things down, you're practicing, and then you just kind of mess around. Like here's me just whipping around, doing really tight U-turns really fast, hard on the gas, doing some quick braking, maybe a little bit of stoppies going on like right here. Wee, yep. <laughs> just kind of playing around, doing stuff like that, taking my foot off, lots of lean angle. You just kind of play around a little bit, a little bit faster speed, lower speed, then go right into pause stops and uh, start balancing again. And this is what I do if I'm like warming up or going to practice anything. I get the tires warmed up. I get myself warmed up. Lots of lean angles, scrubbing in the tires, making sure the brakes work, slipping the clutch, just an overall warming up of day. And then just kind of finish it with a little bit of uh, pausing again. And then, ah. <laughs>